Hey guys, this is my second HTML tutorial in which I teach you more about editing text, images, and links. So, you have the Hello World program, and hold my Hello World, and it says Hello World, Hello World, this is our first website. And as you can tell, it has all this, but if we keep typing, it's going to eventually mess it up, and it's not going to look right. So what you're going to want to always, almost always use is the paragraph tags. And it's .p and then end p. And that allows you to type a bunch of junk. And just keep, um, make it so it will loop back over. So I typed a bunch of junk and it's still not there. But if you um if it keeps going, it will just loop back around, and in the other one you'd have to scroll over, and you don't want the reader to do that, or they're not gonna like your website, and they're just gonna leave, and you're not gonna get that many people to come. So once you get here, you're going to do that, or you can use the break tags, and which allows you. The break tags are actually one of the only tags that you don't have to have an end one. So I put break and then yada yada yada, then break and then yada yada yada. And let's save that. And if you go to hello, it keeps going to the next line, and that's called breaking. So once we do that, let's talk about bold italics and underline you can already probably get the gist of it but it's for bold it's B that makes it bold and end bold and then let's put a break and then italics yada 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 end italic and then underlined and then that and then end the underline. Oops, got the break. And so when we save it and go to hello, as you can tell, it's underlined, italics, and bold. So enough of the text. Let's go to images. Let's say you wanted to put an image of that strawberry, which you saved down so if you're going to save it usually you want to save it to the same place as your HTML document is unless it's going to get a little tricky to make it link to it so you can bring it there so you're going to put IMG SRC and then type the name of it and then you're going to save it as whatever image type it is and to find that out, it's properties, and it's a dot png. So you got to dot png, end it. And once you do that, you save it, and you refresh the website. There's a picture of a strawberry. Now, if you wanted to change the background into a picture of a strawberry, which that image isn't large enough, and it just probably give you a headache from how many tiles it makes. I'll show you how to do that anyway. You're going to want to do back um, background is for a background image and BG color is for a color background. I'm going to show you how to do a color background first and then a background image. So let's say you wanted a color. You go to colorpicker.com and find anything that you like. So I chose this one. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it into here. It's going to start out with the little brackets and end with them. And then you're going to file save. And if you look, when you open hello, it has a color background. And let's say you wanted a image as a background 
and it's not sitting right next to your HTML document. Remember, start as background and equals. This is where it gets a little tricky. You find your picture and wherever it is. I'm going to go to picture, sample pictures, and let's say you wanted the picture of that desert. You're going to have to, you want to copy this sample pictures and remember the name of it and the file type so you copy that let's go to HTML paste slash desert member um, caps do count and dot PNG I think it was oh. guess it was dot JPG make sure that happens or you're gonna get actually you're gonna get this error so you save that as a .png and you go to hello and nothing happens so you're gonna go to .jpg remember name it as the correct file type or it's gonna mess up so hello and there it is it's the background and let's say you didn't want it as the background and you just wanted this picture you do the same thing as you did for the strawberry. You do image source equals whatever that same um the same file um direction as it was that you copied last time and then hit desert dot jpg. Remember you gotta save it as the correct file type or it's gonna mess up and so save it and open it and there it is it's not the background but it's just a picture and you can do whatever you want with that so let's go on to um, links let's say I wanted to link it to msn.com you want to type a href and then http www.msn.com remember you always have to put those and then you're going to end that and you're going to put the link click here then you're going to end a not end href not end whatever you just typed there just end a so you hit save go to hello click here where does it take you to msn Okay, it took you to MSN, so let's say you wanted it to go on another page in your website. Well, that page is not created yet, so let's just name it whatever we want it, we're going to create it. We're going to call it next.html. Save it there. Let's go to next page. You're going to file save. And we're going to go to the next page, and it says this is not found because we have not created that page yet. So, go to um, let's create a new new notepad document and call it. Let's just copy everything in here. Except we're going to change it the title to next page. I'll save as on the desktop and call it next.html. Make sure it's the same as the page you just connected it to and save. But let's say we wanted it to go back to the page that we had created before, which was called hello.html. So hello.html. And we're going to call this one home. gonna let's click on hello it's going to go to next page see and now back to home and so that is your basic text imaging and links tutorial for HTML thanks for watching